Controversial, historic and surprising. These are just some of the words which can be used to describe the 2022 Qatar World Cup. From the allocation to the hosting, Qatar's legacy will be much talked about in the future. In 2010, Qatar made history after FIFA allocated them the bid, which prompted probes and a long trial into the organization's corruption. Lasting years, the investigation ended with Mikhail Platini and Seb Blatter declared not guilty by the Swiss courts. The road to Doha has been plagued with human rights issues, from deaths and deportations of migrant workers to inhospitable rights for the LGBTQ community. It's prompted calls from NGOs to boycott the tournament, while many cities across France have refused to play games or host fan zones in protest. The Australians became the first team to call out Qatar's human rights record and released a video demanding the respect of both worker rights and human rights. Qatar upset Western fans even further, announcing at the last minute a total ban on the sale of alcohol in or near the stadiums. While some complained about the restrictions, many female fans say this was one of the safest World Cups they have ever been to. Yes, certainly. I don't drink, but I do feel safer. Wherever there's alcohol, people change, so we do feel safer. It doesn't matter if the games end up, uh, really late at night or you walk to your, uh, to your place really late, every place feels safe. Furthermore, FIFA chief Infantino called the Qatar-hosted edition the best one ever. Uh, thanks to uh, everyone who was involved to, uh, of course, uh, Qatar, uh, all the volunteers, workforce, all of you, everyone who has contributed to make this World Cup the best World Cup uh, ever. Arab and African teams also made history, from Saudi Arabia beating Argentina 2-1 in the pool stages, Qatar becoming the only host nation to lose every single game, to Morocco becoming the first African and Arab nation to make it to a World Cup semi-final. The Atlas Lions were legendary, eliminating strong contenders like Spain or Portugal, massively raising the profile of football in the region. For both the good and the bad, this World Cup can objectively be called one of the most topical World Cups in history.